All right, so this is my first video. This is uh, <laughs> gonna be more than I bargained for, I believe. Um, my wife's gonna be <laughs> uh, a little uh, uh, surprised at what I have in store here. Um, we've uh, gone out and bought um, some um, Icon toolboxes from Harbor Freight Tools. Uh, my wife and I are getting ready to build the house and um, we uh, needed some more storage, or not we, I needed some more storage for some tools. So I went out and got the Big Daddy 73 inch uh, setup from Harbor Freight. So here, we'll take a look at it. Uh, it's so heavy and so durable that the delivery drivers couldn't get it off the truck. We had to unbox it from the truck. And so we've got uh, these items here. We've got the 73 inch rolling chest in black and it's got all the fancy drawers and stuff in it with the liners already in there so that'll be cool and I gotta get all this set up this thing was a beast trying to get it out of the truck um, again the drivers we had to unbox it that's why the this is the only one that's out of the box all the other ones are still in the box and still got to be put together so um, I got a big job in store for myself here and um, so we got the rolling chest the work center that goes on top of that and actually the um, top the stainless steel top that goes in between those two and then we've got the four foot work light bar that's going to go inside of that and then we've got the 28 inch end locker so there were some other pieces that you could get but these were all I could really afford because I got to buy some tools too so uh, but this is really cool um, it's got plenty of the outlets here on the front USB outlets what really sold me on this though was the uh, power drawer here it's got um, drawer for uh, all your chargers and things and it's got a really ingenious uh, little track here to keep your cord from binding up in the drawer so it goes on top of the drawer here and uh, then winds back inside and goes to the back so and then this drawer goodness I gotta adjust the tighteners on these things but uh, allows you to store all of your uh, screw guns, nail guns, any kind of gun you want to do uh, store it right there in that drawer so I've got about um, two or three drills impact drivers things like that that I want to put in there um, but it's just some massive storage so this top drawer is huge uh, a small child could use this as their <laughs> uh, bed and and uh, dresser uh, could sleep in this thing uh, if you wanted to if it was rated for that, that, that is. So don't go try and uh, doing that. But um, it's this thing is just huge. I mean, I could you know put a body in there. So that's what I was meaning. But really impressed with the quality of this thing. It shipped in, like I said, uh, by del delivery here, and we had to unbox this thing out of the back of the truck because this thing we couldn't pick it up and get it out of here by hand. So. All right, stay tuned for the next video where um, I'll show you what I do to put all this together. Uh, in the meantime, I gotta get all this in the garage and before my wife gets home. <laughs> all right, see ya. All right, so we're gonna put this toolbox together now that we have. I rolled this out in the garage. The Icon 73 inch chest. This is what we're gonna start with and then we got the stainless steel top uh, 28 inch end locker and the 73 inch work center so those are the items we got to put together and we got all these other organizer pieces that go inside the toolbox so this should be fun Alright, so what we do is take the stainless steel top out of the box, 
I realized that this thing was wrapped all the way around in good plastic and had to peel these edges off because it makes it a little easier before it's put together. But this thing is solid. It's got, I should have shown you when it was in the box, but it's got this solid hardboard piece up underneath attached to it. Makes it like, I don't know, almost a couple hundred pounds heavy. And then what it does is it will through bolt with these holes here. Underneath, the screws will come up underneath through here. So that's what we're gonna do now is turn this around because it's backwards, but we'll turn around, set it down, and then uh, put those through bolts in, so. I'll move this in a little closer for you. Go ahead and pull off this icon badging here too. You know this setup. And then it's got another little badging here with plastic it's on the top. You could probably use a, a little knife or something to pry that out of there so all right next thing we'll do is we'll unbox the work center all right so I figured out the easiest way to remove this plastic that's in these letters within that stamped into the stainless steel after they put the wrap on it just to get a little pick run it right along the edge of the letter and then pull down to where you get it started with your finger Clean up the stainless steel with some cleaner. And get back to putting the rest of it together. Alright, so we're making some progress on putting these toolboxes together. But one thing we just saw as we were prepping the main chest for the work center notice that the stainless steel top that we put on has leaked out some glue evidently from the hardboard that's attached to it up underneath the glue when I attached it must have squeezed out and started running behind the back side of the main chest so if you put this thing together just be mindful that you might get some squeeze out but it's like it's urethane glue like Gorilla Glue or something but I'm surprised it's not cured by now so anyhow we'll clean this up and hopefully that'll be the last of that um, 
The other thing is, is we just took out all the parts and pieces from the work center box and this is what you get inside there. You get two push bars. The template for it is actually steel, so it's not paper or anything, so that way you have a true template and it's not going to move on you. It fits right up. Here, I'll show you. It's going to fit right up here, like so. Let me zoom back out here. Yep, that's as far as it's going to go. So it just fits right up on there, nice and tight and snug, so then you just uh, do your punches there and drill through your top as it says in the instructions I think about one inch deep so because um, then it's just going to have some lag screws right here that's going to go through that stainless steel through the holes down here in the side of the work center and those were actually screwed to the pallet too so you actually have some extra screws if you need them that came from where it was shipped so those are the screws that came out of the pallet but you get also your your shelf that goes in the back of the work center and then you get a little organizer box too so that's what comes in that so we'll get working on this and we'll be back shortly